Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be designing a bounce free switch using the triple five timer with the help of multi-sim tool. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below for more such videos. Click on component section and select the mixed group and select the virtual in virtual select the component triple five timer and place this on the schematic window next select the group as basic and select the component as 100 kilo ohm and click ok in order to rotate this use control plus r and place this particular resistor on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial next we require a capacitor value and also a resistor value so place the second resistor R2 as shown in this particular tutorial next select the family as capacitor and in the component section search for 0.1 microfarad capacitor and click OK now Place this particular capacitor near the ground. Now we will place the second capacitor and the value of this particular capacitor will be 0.01 microfarad and place this capacitor as shown in this particular tutorial. Next from the group basic select the family as switch and from the component list select SPST based switch and place this on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial now we also require a voltage source so select the group as source and select the component as PCC and place this on the schematic window next select the component as ground and place this on the schematic window now connect the VCC to terminal VCC of triple five timer and connect the ground connection to the ground now the reset is connected to the terminal VCC and the resistor R1 is connected to the VCC now from the resistor R1 connect this to the threshold pin and the discharge pin is connected again to the threshold pin now connect the capacitor C1 to the threshold and the discharge pin and and the capacitor C1 is connected to the ground now connect the capacitor C2 and the other end of a capacitor to the ground now connect the resistor R2 to voltage source and from R2 connect this to the switch S1 now from S1 connect this to the ground now we have completed this particular circuit now we require an oscilloscope before that connect the trigger pin to switch S1 Now click on simulate and select the instruments from the instrument section place the oscilloscope. Now connect the terminal A of the oscilloscope to the output of the op amp and 
we must select the ground connection uh, and this must be placed on the schematic which would be connected on the negative terminal of channel A of the op amp. Now run this particular circuit. Now you can see the C1 actually controls the delay for the bounce free switch. Now when we close this particular switch you can see the output waveform from the triple five timer circuit. Now based on the changes what we do with respect to capacitor C1 we can see the delay the changes in the delay now let us make this resistance value as 100k and run this particular simulation now you can see the waveform of the circuit now double click on capacitor c1 and change the capacitance value to 10 microfarad and open this particular switch run this particular simulation and close this particular switch now for a time delay of one second you will get the output for this bounce free switch circuit so just observe and you can see the output would appear around one second thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below